What is going on everybody? James Hancock here. I'm back to do a reaction video to the latest trailer for The Flash coming our way June 16th, 2023. A movie that we've quite literally been waiting years to see. I think they started shooting it in April of 2021. And so much has happened since they started shooting it. I mean, obviously Warner Brothers changed hands. James Gunn got tapped to run the new DC Universe. Ezra Miller went crazy a few times. Uh, it seems like, I mean, there are more rumors surrounding the ending and the cameos and reshoots and re-edits, etc. I can't even begin to keep track of all that uh, chaos and insanity. But I am curious to see the movie because I fucking love Michael Keaton. I mean, Batman changed my life when I was a 12-year-old kid when that came out. Saw it a billion times. Love Batman Returns. Uh, in a lot of ways, those remain some of the most stylish and cool and adult and erotic superhero flicks ever made and so even if this whole movie is like two hours of garbage if it gives me five good minutes of michael keaton i'm in so um i have not yet watched a single frame of this trailer so i have no idea what to expect but let's let it rip in three two one tell me something you can go anywhere Another timeline. Another universe. So why do you want to stay and fight to save this one? This question is how many Batmen will we see? This is the world where my mom lives. I'm not gonna lose her again. Time has a pattern that it can't help reliving. Different people, different worlds, drawn to each other like magnets. My face. I hope so one of them face. knows actually how to run in this flick. If you were to go into the past, you have no idea what the consequences can be. Bruce. I could fix things. You could also destroy everything. It's two Batman. I completely broke the universe. Sorry. We've been waiting for you. I created a world with no metahumans. And now there's no one to defend us. Want some help? It's definitely Keaton's Batmobile. You're, you are. Yeah, I'm Batman. I'm Batman. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the whole trailer's worth it for that moment. That Danny Elfman score. Is that Christian Bale? It looks like it. Yeah, the Bat Pod. I can't undo what I did. Three Batman. Where's George Clooney? There might not be a future. What's the play? Batman, what do we do? We try not to die. It's not Clark. My name is Kara. I I'm well, Barry. We're Barry. Barry, what are you doing? Our kids are going to want to see this. Alrighty. Well, I'll see it. I mean, I was planning on seeing it anyway, but I guess the question is, is my enthusiasm higher or lower having seen it? Probably higher. It looks like at a minimum, Michael Keaton will get to have his moments. And in the interest of full disclosure, I've never been that keen on Ezra Miller as Barry Allen. I feel like he could have played maybe a Wally West. But Barry Allen, for me, just because he comes from that early 60s Silver Age period or even late 50s, he always seemed a little more square, a little more buttoned up. I mean, he's a freaking cop or forensics expert. And he he always seems like he should have been played by somebody a little more square-jawed or a little more, a little older, a little more conservative. But... You know, at any rate, we can't go back and 
Actually, we can go back and change things because this movie is all about the timeline and changing things. So I'm not that excited to see Ezra Miller hang around as the Flash. And if the movie does really, really well, I'm sure they'll find some way through all the various timelines to keep him around. But if Ezra Miller goes bye-bye and they recast the Flash in James Gunn's new DC universe, I won't miss him. And whether or not the new Supergirl sticks around, who knows? We're living in this weird era where people spend more time talking about kind of the plotting and scheming and musical chairs at the big studios than they do about the movies themselves. It's almost become more interesting to discuss like studio politics than it is the actual content itself. And that's either a sign that the studio politics are really interesting right now or that the movies are not so interesting or a combination of the two. But I would love it if we could kind of go back to just talking about the flicks instead of talking about who's selling which studio to which platform, et cetera, and so forth. But I guess... This is a business that's driven by hits. And if the movie does well, I'm sure a lot of the actors from the movie will stick around. And if the movie does poorly, they'll all go bye-bye. But it all depends upon how well James Gunn's new Superman movie does. But imagine a world where this movie does well and James Gunn's Superman movie does not, or vice versa. I mean, once again, it's a business of hits. And everything in the future will depend upon which movies find an audience, which ones people respond to, et cetera, and so forth. But at a minimum, I'm excited to see the variation on General Zod and that rewriting of history and the different timelines. And obviously Marvel's kind of beaten DC to the punch when it comes to the multiverse because this movie took 10 fucking years to reach the screen. So I don't know if James Gunn's going to completely abandon all this multiverse stuff because Marvel obviously is going to be making a big play on it over the next couple of years. Once again, all this kind of studio rivalry and studio competition stuff is oftentimes more interesting than the movies themselves. And as far as the different Batman are concerned, I don't think Robert Pattinson will be making an appearance, but at a minimum, it looks like we're going to get Christian Bale and Ben Affleck and Michael Keaton. And who knows? I don't think we'll see uh, Val Kilmer, but maybe we'll see George Clooney or Kevin Conroy. I mean, bring them all on. There, there's pretty much not a Batman in the history of the Batman franchise that I've disliked. So the more the merrier as far as I'm concerned. But I'm rambling at this point. Let me know what you think of uh, the trailer in the comments below. I look forward to whatever other trailers will be coming our way due to the Super Bowl. And remember to like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, all that good stuff. But thanks so much for watching. Really appreciate it. More importantly, as always, onwards and upwards.